Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory. So today we're going to have a run through Gary's brand new 18 foot 6 Kedron XC5. So this one here has the Island Queen bed at the front, cafe dinette off to the side with the bifold table and then that really nice separate shower toilet in the ensuite. So we'll have a bit of a run through. We have got a wonderful amount of stock under roof here waiting for their new owners. Today is Gary's day. He said he's been waiting for quite a while to get a new Kedron and today's his day. So it's fantastic to see him through. And when he first jumped in and had a look, we might do the same and pop in. This one's riding on the Kedron KRS suspension in the coil. So the Kedron recovery stub suspension. Really nice earthy tone and the colors in this one here by Gary. So as we say, that Island Queen bed at the front lifts up the locally made mattress there. Cafe dinette. And then the two door compressor fridge freezer there. Three 180 watt panels are up top, and this one has the 300 amp steel encased lithium power pack that is really nice and neat out of the road in that slide out boot section. Back into the van here, the stainless sink, so the Kedron etched stainless sink, really nice large drain area, large bowl also, dual tap filter drinking water this side, washing up water that. Next to this is the four burner griller with the full oven. And I'll just slide back and show the metal sided roller drawers. So really nice and strong in these. That heat and humidity resistant in the edge banding. Looking up above the kitchen area underneath the overhead cupboards is some dual mains outlets. Some LED lighting. The slim recessed range hood there. More LED lighting and again another dual outlet there for the mains power. Back up top here and next to the microwave is the electronics heartland. So up here in the center is the Psy Marine. Basically gives you a readout of the 300 amp lithium power pack. The solar and the DC to DC charge going in. Level indicators here for the drinking shower water tanks and the grey water tank. On the water tank note, we've uh, done some testing with these just to showcase how heavy duty these are. So they're internally strengthened. So we just wanted to show, driving over with the excavator here, how strong these Australian-made water tanks are. They've got the baffles inside when we pop out and have a bit of a look underneath the van. We'll showcase a little bit more there also, but uh, beautiful strength in those food-grade, locally-made water tanks. Back inside and across here, we will go up to the CD player. CD, USB and Bluetooth so you can play your music off your phone or your smartphone. To the left up the top here is the dual control. So this basically controls both the rooftop aircon. So I'm just adjusting the slimline LEDs in that so you can have them on an adjustable brightness. You've also got a remote control for the aircon and this also controls that instant gas hot water system. Underneath here is the circuit resetters. So simply to reset these circuits, you can press button and then down the bottom is also the control for the 60 amp charger and 1600 watt inverter. Basically what this does is if you are connected up to mains, it will have 60 amps charge going into that 300 amp lithium power pack. If you don't have access to mains and you don't want to start a generator, you might be camped up next to someone and just out of respect you don't want to start the jenny. Or you might be in a national park and you can't start a generator, but you might want to do a load of washing or you might want to, say, run a coffee machine here out of these dual outlets. You might want to run a CPAP machine next to the bed or simply charge your camera batteries or a laptop at your dinette. At the press of a button here, this will turn on that 1600 watt inverter in that side boot and we'll have the 12 volt power converted to your mains to do that. Stepping back and looking around to the right is the TV DVD next to the bubbles and chockies to celebrate the new van. Swiveling to the front, the Island Queen bed 
Again, these are on the locally made bamboo pocket spring mattresses. Beautifully comfortable in these and a huge amount of feedback just on the comfort of those inner spring mattresses. Underneath the bed here, you have additional storage. There is a linen recess there, pull out drawers for the likes of footwear. The mattress itself sits on a slatted bed base that gives more comfort or additional comfort as well as it also allows that pocket spring mattress to breathe. Off to the side here is the diesel heater controls, a USB outlet and mains outlet is on both sides of the bed also. Really nice large amount of window space on this to take in the view, ventilation as well as you can have that pulled down for the utmost amount of insulation and privacy. Cafe dinette here with the lift up leg extensions. So nice and easy to lift those up. Great amount of space with these. If you wanna just sit back and read a magazine or a newspaper or watch a movie, you can have that bifold back. And as simple as that to take advantage of the utmost amount of bench space, you can fold that out for your breakfast, lunch or dinner. Above here is some more power outlets as well as a USB outlet to charge your phone. A really nice large amount of window space here also. 12 volt fans, there's one either side of the bed as well as one above the dinette, simply at the press of a button. You have adjustable speed with these and also a sleep timer. With the window that is above the dinette, really nice and easy to use with these. We've been using the Aussie Traveler window here. Has a black midge proof mesh on these, really nice and easy to use foil up or have your foil down your midge proof up or have it fully open and then click out to take in the most of your view and ventilation led lights above the cafe dinette and plenty of storage up top here also the push and twist catch so the positive lock catch there as well as that piano hinge and the stainless steel top to bottom Looking up to the roof is a shine on the roof because that is an aluminium composite panel. Above that is a Thermoblock Australian made non-toxic insulation. And then back inside the van and then popping down to the wall frame. If we go inside the wall frame here, I'll just do a bit of an overlay with the aluminium frame section here. So you can see the solid high tensile pin punches that go through. So these secure the frame and then allow a nice bit of movement there, which is especially beneficial when you're traveling in corrugations and off-road. In between this is another Australian-made non-toxic insulation, and it's dual foil on the inside. Back inside the van here, and we will swivel between the cafe dinette and the ensuite itself, just to showcase the two-door compressor fridge freezer. So this here, plenty of fridge and freezer space there and plenty of power to keep that running with that 300 amp lithium power pack. I'll just show the entrance door here with the travel lock. So you travel lock there and it keeps it really nice and secure when you are on or off the road. And then when you open up and enter into the ensuite, you've got your toilet there. Plenty of room also with the wall mount of washing machine above. Fantastic hatch up top there. Gives it some great ventilation to be able to draw the air out inside the ensuite area. More mirror space there. Flick mixer tap with a ceramic bowl in a mini basin. Really nice and convenient, easy to use and clean. And you've got your nice soft blue light there for your night light. Just enter into the shower itself. So these have a slip and crack resistant alloy base, all folded, pressed and welded in house at the factory here sent off to the local powder coaters again the aluminium composite in the wall and that interlocks into that aluminium extrusion another fan hatch up top and we will swivel around just to showcase a little bit of an overview of the van before we pop outside have a bit of a run through and then let gary head off for his test toe to adjust the electric brakes Certainly a beautiful size and layout in this, in the 18.6. It has the tear mass under, or just over 2,800 kilo. So we'll just step back outside here and have a little bit of a run through on the outside before Gary heads off for his test toe. It's all getting set up really nicely here with the weight distribution set up in the level and the heights. 
Inside that recess, there is that 300 amp lithium power pack we were talking about before. Swiveling around to the front of the van, we've got a padded cover over the electric jack, really nice and easy to get in and out. Underneath this plate alloy box with the access point there to turn your bottles on and off is the twin nine kilo gas bottles. Now these have stainless steel straps and they're also boxed in and ventilated out underneath. Twin 10 litre jerrys, stainless steel straps, the diesel heater tank inside that front box. And then the lockable diesel filler here. Some genuine Rhino coating on the front of the van and lifting up to the design registered Kedron solar awning. Doesn't have the solar integration on this one as it has plenty of solar up top. Plenty more external storage on the outside. So next to that 300 amp lithium power pack is the plate alloy slide out box. So plenty more storage there for the hose and lead kit. That's also a recess here for the portable barbecue. Inside here is a pair of awning arm covers, so they basically protect and wrap around here with Velcro on the rollout awning arm. LED keyless drop table there, and we'll just pop down and showcase has the quality Goodyear Wrangler in their flagship tyre, the Duratrack. So a beautiful amount of testing that we've done over the decades with the Goodyears on the Gore Boys Adventures. And what would put those through is uh, pretty crazy, I'd say, but yeah, testament to the reliability and the strength of the Wranglers. And it is great to see them fitted up on the new vans as they head out the door for the new owners. These are laced around the Kedron load rated alloys there. We'll pop underneath and just have a quick look. This is the Kedron KRS suspension. So they're the protection plates in front, which form in part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. Beautiful peace of mind and treatment there for the chassis with the hot dipping and it treats and protects them on the inside and out. Padders make a specific coil in the KRS code for the Kedron KRS suspension owners. So again, the food grade water tanks here, baffles with the four square recess or rectangular holes you can see underneath. They both allow any rock buildup up top, the ability to be able to drop out and also gives a beautiful stable tow with limiting the water slosh from left to right. Stepping back outside the van here, we will pop up and showcase the external TV provisions there. Come back, there's that nice Kedron press in underneath that Rhino coating in the aluminium dive on. Twin spares on the rear, Wrapping around in between those is the external shower, nice and accessible, yet tucked out nice and neat out of the road. Swiveling around and down, we will just show the outlet there for the grey water tank. So if you camped up in a beautiful spot, you might be in a national park, you might be in a water catchment area like here next to Cofen Dam. And you have the ability to shut that off and hold your washing up water as well as your shower water until you get to a spot where it's nice and safe to do so. We'll release that water. Swiveling up again and we will just head to the front before we wrap up a bit of the walkthrough here. On the right hand side is the inverter charger. Get your breakaway DC to DC charger, solar regulator. In these here also is a storage shut off so you can shut off the power to your 300 amp lithium power pack when you have this van stored. Up top here is a thermostat controlled fan. So basically when you are traveling on dusty or dirt roads, you have the ability with your stainless steel dust prevention buttons to close both those off by simply pushing. This here shuts off the air to the inside of that side boot. And with that triple seal, so you've got a triple dust seal. So one, two and three on here and then when this is all closed to keep the warm charged air down to a nice operating temperature this thermostat control fan will draw that into the cabinet of the van and then that will allow that to stay at the right temp to the right hand side of this is a recess for a generator so you can have either of your honda 2.2 jennies yamaha 2.2 we can also fit your Yamaha 2.4 in the XC5 front box. All right, I will uh, wrap it up here. The boys are setting up Gary's weight distribution hitch there on the back of the ute. 
and he is nearly set to hit the road so thanks again to everyone for tuning in thank you very much for all your fantastic support we've got a growing youtube family and to see the comments and see all the support the likes the shares if you've subscribed to the channel thank you very much a lot of people say they've subscribed to be able to see the alerts there of the new vans rolling out for all the different sizes colors layouts inclusions tow vehicles and then it is fantastic for us as a near 60 year family business to see that support and interest and to help keep the australian manufacturing strong so if you've done this thank you once again to gary thank you for choosing kedron we all sincerely appreciate the support and wish you many safe and enjoyable travels in your new van. All right, everyone, I will wrap it up here. We might catch Gary on the track someday. If not, we might catch up with you on the next walkthrough. Thanks again, everyone. Stay safe and bye for now.